they like, seeing the excitement that that they feel when they come in, and it's it's awe inspiring. They really really enjoy it. How long have you been driving the bookmobile? Eleven years. Eleven. Eleven. Have you ever got tired of it? No, I actually love my job for a change. What do you, what do you like about it? I love interacting with the kids, um, take care of the books, doing crafty things like this, uh, just, and I get to drive at the same time. I was a driver before this. In many ways, it hasn't changed. Um, our primary goal really is to put books into the hands of children and adults who might not be able to get to the library. Um, I think that's always been its primary goal. Uh, it's now more environmentally friendly. Um, <laughs> and it, now we do more than going to schools. We also go to neighborhoods, um, housing projects, um, senior centers. So I think we broaden probably from how it used to be in the past. Um, just trying to hit areas that maybe are not walking distance to a library. Yeah. I manage the bookmobile in addition to managing the Wilkes Library. So I've been here since um, 2006. So uh, yeah, going on. 13 years. <laughs> it's about 12 and a half right now. So during the school year, we um, visit every location uh, every two weeks. In the summertime, when it's a little bit slower, obviously fewer schools to hit. So we go every week in the summertime to whatever schools and neighborhoods that we go to. So during the school year, a lot of times the schools that don't have their own libraries or not within walking distance to a library are going to be our priorities. Um, we do have schools request us and so obviously we try our best to work them on to, into the schedule. Um, and again, trying to hit neighborhoods that um, we know people might not get a chance to get out to the library. So those would really be our priorities. I like how exciting it is because it's something that's so unique to New Bedford. Um, people that come on the bus, if they've never been on the bus before, it's, oh my gosh, like it's, it's like a school bus, a giant school bus, but it's got books on it. It's kind of amazing. It's kind of, um, it's kind of neat to see people's reactions when they first come on the bus and they're like, oh my gosh, like it's the library at your doorstep. So I think that's kind of my favorite part. And the kids too, when they see it and they're like, oh my gosh, it's something that's just so unique. And you know, what a, what a great resource for New Bedford to have. And we've had people cry because they're just so happy that they love reading so much that they still have the opportunity to have books brought to their home. Um, and that's, that's just something that's just, it's just special. Okay, Haley, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.